Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn of the great state of Tennessee now. What is suddenly the rush of something that we've wanted to know for a couple of years since he's been in office? Harris, this is the COVID cover-up is what this is. And you had the White House that came out trying to make certain that we didn't challenge China on this. And China went to the WHO and the WHO instructed social media and those of us who said, what about the lab? We're hearing from our diplomatic scientists there were problems at the lab, and that was called conspiracy theory, as we all know. But it has proven those of us right that were early on in saying, let's look at the lab where this COVID, where uh, coronavirus research was being done, and we heard of the viral research, the gain of function research that was being done there. Yes. They didn't want to go that direction. But now we know that the White House has, they're having to admit that there were issues. It could be from there. And you know, I thought it was so interesting. John Kirby said there was not intelligence consensus on this, but there is and has been common sense consensus that the lab had to be at the center of this. Well, even the former President Trump, I mean, for, and members of his administration said this from the very beginning. Of course, at that right. time, Americans were fighting for their lives and China wasn't helping out with that either by scooping up all the, the products that we needed to keep ourselves safe. Um, you may remember Senator Tom Cotton was attacked by the media for blaming a lab leak for COVID. And again, I want to take us back all the way to February of 2020. Well, he has a lot to say about that. The only conspiracy here was a conspiracy of silence among the left in America, whether it's the liberal media that was trying to silence me or Democratic politicians like Joe Biden, and Nancy Pelosi saying we we're racist or nativist or xenophobic. Um, and then you had MSNBC and CNN and, and all the rest piling on. And then you have people you know, in the government like Tony Fauci, as you're pointing out earlier, adding more fuel to this conspiracy of silence. Oh, he added fuel. All right in the form of lies yes. and disinformation. All of this was in response to 2020 headlines like what we're about to show you. The Washington Post and the New York Times claiming Senator Cotton pushed a conspiracy theory. A media, mediaite opinion article argued the journalists who smeared Cotton tarnished their own reputations. But we know at the time the media didn't stop there. Let's watch. It's clearly the case that Trump is di is divorced from the facts. Donald Trump has been super disdainful of the intelligence community, but I'll tell you when his disdain will stop, his disdain will stop if he can get it to start doing things for him that, it, that he finds politically helpful and certainly pinning something on China that would be uh, a, a made up but, 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 but politically opportune uh, uh, development is something he would love to see as he heads towards reelection. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, were they trying to say that Americans were trying to protect China? Look at where we are right now with China and an investigation with the president's son for shady business dealings with China. I mean, this goes so far against what we know to be true. What, what's happening? Yes, indeed. And what the media has tried to do is to protect the Biden White House and Biden Incorporated and thereby protecting China. You have to look at the World Health Organization. They negotiated the language of the COVID report with the Chinese Communist Party. The Chinese Communist Party just gave the WHO another million dollars. And then you have to look at the way the media has covered up for Biden Incorporated and the CCP somewhat. And thank goodness, because of a spy balloon, people are now saying, you know what? I think China is at fault. We don't want them buying our farmland. We don't want to have an enormous mm. trade deficit with them. We are worried about TikTok. We want to know exactly what happened with COVID. We don't want them stealing our intellectual property. We do not want them infringing on our patents and copyrights. Mm -hmm. We don't want them cozying up with Russia and being a part of the axis of evil with Russia, Iran, North Korea and Harris people are very focused on this and thank goodness the Department of Energy report was leaked and we now know huh. that those of us that were called 
conspiracy theorists or all of these other words were actually right on point and the media and the WHO and the CCP have been caught red-handed, if you will, for trying to cover this up. Senator Blackburn, great to have you in focus today. Good to be with you. Thank you. Thank you.